My name is Samuel Cornish. I will be reading Excerpt 1 and Excerpt 2. It is normal to have beliefs about different identities. These beliefs can cause you to be unaware of the needs of certain groups, or even to harm or exclude others. So while you may not be responsible for what you were taught, you do need to ask questions about these beliefs and pay attention to how your behaviors impact others, especially those who are different from you. One way to start the process is to learn more about the concept of intersectionality. First named by legal scholar Professor Kimberly Crenshaw, intersectionality helps us understand how power dynamics and oppressions such as sexism, racism, ableism, and many more are interconnected. Intersectionality can help us understand unique experiences of discrimination and privilege in academic and workplace environments. When someone has experienced violence or harassment, it's important to respond in a caring way. They also need access to information about their rights and resources. Research shows that most people tell a friend or peer first, and individuals are more likely to seek other resources if they receive a supportive response. You can use the following actions to demonstrate empathy and support. First, validate. Everyone responds to experiencing violence and harassment differently. Validate that any response is normal and assure them they're doing the right thing by coming to you. Try responding with, I'm so glad you shared this.